Hey everybody, welcome again to another one of my math videos. In this video I'm going to teach you how to factor by grouping. And factoring by grouping is a method that you use when there is no other method possible. Um, if you notice, in 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 6x plus 15, um, we cannot pull out a common factor, um, so we can't factor by pulling out anything in common. Um, we can't factor uh, a trinomial because this has four terms, um, it's not a trinomial. Um, so there's no possible way for us to factor this other than by grouping. Um, so whenever you see something like this that has four terms um, and there's nothing else you can do, um, the only last method that is possible um, is by factoring by grouping. And sometimes the expression is not factorable at all, so factoring by grouping is not even possible. Um, so we're just going to get started with this example and uh, we'll, let's just see if this is even factorable at all. So the first thing you want to do with factoring by grouping is you want to separate the terms. Um, this 2x cubed term and this minus 5x cubed, these first two, I'm going to separate and I'm going to write them in green. And then we also have the third and the fourth term, which we are going to separate those as well. So I'm going to write those in blue. So now we separated the first two terms and we separated the third and the fourth term. And what you want to do is is you want to figure out what each group has in common. Um, so what do these green terms have in common? Okay, uh, if you notice the 2x cubed and the minus 5x squared, um, they both have two x's in common, um, and that's about it. Um, so I'm going to pull out um, two x's because they both have two x's in common. Now we have to figure out what we have left over. Um, and what I like to do is I just like to divide by what we just pulled out both terms, and notice that the x squared cancels out and we're left with 1x on top, so with the first term we're left with a 2x, and in the second term uh, the, two, the x squareds cancel out and we're left with a negative 5. Now we're going to do the same thing uh, for the blue terms in the second group, and what do negative 6x and positive 15 have in common? Uh, they both can be divided by 3 evenly. Um, if you notice, 6 can be divided by 3. Um, and 15 can also be divided by 3. So they both have a 3 in common. Um, so I'm going to pull out a negative 3. Uh, since we have a negative sign here, I'm going to pull out a negative 3. And to see what we have left over, I'm just going to divide both terms by bo what we just pulled out negative 6x divided by negative 3 is a positive 2x and positive 15 divided by negative 3 is a negative 5. Now notice how both these parentheses are exactly the same. Inside the parentheses we have a 2x minus 5. Um, if the parentheses are not exactly the same um, that means that this problem is not factorable or that you made a mistake along the way. Um, so these, these parentheses must be exactly the same um, in order to do factoring by grouping. Um, so that means we're on the right track. So moving on to our last step. If we look at both of these terms, like I said before, the parentheses are exactly the same. So they both have a 2x minus 5 in common. Um, so I'm going to pull out a 2x minus 5. So we pulled out the 2x minus 5, and the only thing we have left over are the two terms in the front, which is this x squared term, because um, we pulled out the 2x minus 5, and we also have a negative 3 left over, because we pulled out the 2x minus 5, and so the only thing we have left over is a x squared and a minus 3, the two terms that are in the front. And now this problem is completely factored. So I hope this video helps you understand factoring by grouping just a little bit better. If you need any extra help uh, with live tutoring or homework solutions, uh, please go to my website at mathmeeting.com. Uh, once again, that is mathmeeting.com, and I would love to help you out. Uh, also, if you like the way I teach and you want to see more of my videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, once again, thank you again for watching my video, and take care.